Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video. So today's is a creative sim, but not just any creative sim. So today I am making over my Nasa Berry Airs from Gen 1 through 5. So I had this idea after I was done with, I think, Plum Gen. Well, not idea. It's not like it's creative. Other people have done it. But I wanted to make over Gens 1 through 5 for a video. And then once I'm done with the whole series, then I'll go and make over Gens 6 through 10. When I saw these Sims, because it's been a minute since I've seen like what Eden and Ruby look like. Eden? Girl, I mean, she's like cute in her own right, I guess, just because of nostalgia. But she was interesting to look at <laughs> to say the least very interesting like the lips i'm so glad like i still very much like my sims to have plump lips but when it comes to that girl eden got blown up like she got stung by a jellyfish or something her lips were swollen and took up half her face i don't understand why no one told me stop it honey put down the sliders and let's keep the lips a normal size because literally that was insane I actually really want to go back and not watch the whole thing because while I do enjoy watching my own content from time to time, and I mean, if I don't like watching it, then I don't want to upload it because then I think that it's bad. I kind of want to go back and rewatch it a little bit because there's something about the early gens that just brings so much nostalgia, which is why I, I think I really like Pink Gen, especially now where Pink Gen is headed and where it's at currently. With, you know, Blush with Fabian, with Avalon being a child, their new house. Their whole just like family dynamic is very reminiscent and just like the house and the whole style and everything is very reminiscent of early NSB for me. And so I think that's why I really love Pink Gen right now and why I think that Peach is going to be so good, especially once the new expansion pack comes out, makes it growing together, which I'm super excited about. I think that that pack will really elevate Not So Berry. I mean, I hope it does because a pack like growing together should change the entire game like it literally should be an expansion pack and expand upon the entire game as a whole but rather sims 4 expansions tend to expand a certain area certain things but overall it's just additional content it's not expanding the game and changing the game itself it's just giving you new content which sounds like the same thing but it's not i don't really know how to explain it like for example sims 3 generations that pack literally changed the entire structure of the sims 3 same thing with seasons but for sims 4 a lot of packs are super shallow so they don't really expand on the game properly so here's hoping that miss growing together is good which speaking of again i do want to do a series on that which is why not so berry peach might go out a little bit later because i really want to focus on growing together i have this whole idea this whole plan because since this pack does give off generations vibes i want to have the start of the series very generations-esque so i have this whole plan i hope it works out i'm very excited you know it'd be so great if like someone got early access so that like you know they could start working on it earlier he he tee he that would never happen though imagine it did one day eventually no i doubt it i talk too much shit about the sims 4 to ever get given early access but I mean, you never know. Never say never. And listen, I know I talk a lot of shit about The Sims 4 sometimes, but I still love the game. I just hate the direction of which it's gone and how it's been treated because The Sims franchise is amazing. There's no other game like The Sims. I mean, The Sims dominates within a live simulation games, but it's like EA knows that. And so they're going to profit on it no matter what scraps they give us, which is so sad. But anyway, Yes, I do think that The Sims 4 is good. I also think it sucks ass. So my opinion is um, a little, I guess, complicated. Now, Sims 3 though, which I am critical of that game as well, trust and believe. I love playing Sims 3 so much. I have wanted this drive and desire to play The Sims 3 for so long. I just couldn't get it. Even in my own personal game, I just could never get the want to play except for when i played my jam legacy with my friend i've done a few streams over on twitch of that family but recording wise it's been years i think the last time i uploaded was 2020 was the last time i posted sims 3 i think i'm pretty sure and it's not 2023 it's been two maybe two and a half years almost since i posted the sims 3 on this channel until now with leprosy that's insane but i'm so happy that it's back because my girl Juliet, she is so fun to play. 
and the fact that I'm like playing with the gods, there's all this drama. That's the thing about The Sims 3 that I love, especially playing in Sunset Valley and base game. There's always so much drama, and yes, I have mods, but it's not like mods, like Sims 4 mods. Like, if you have mods in The Sims 4 to add drama and story progression and stuff like that, things happen very randomly, or it's very out of character for your Sims and such, and just things are just random. So, I don't know. I just, I love The Sims 3. I missed her. I wish that she ran a little bit better because right now she's not as smooth as she could be or as she even should be. I'm really debating on using CC Magic because right now I have a lot of CC merged with S3PE. If you don't play The Sims 3 and you just play The Sims 4 and you're just here for a Sims 4 create a sim, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this video is just me rambling because I have no idea what to even talk about, to be honest. But you know what? Sometimes those videos are needed. I haven't rambled in a video in quite a while actually so this is yeah much needed but anyway i use s3pe to merge my cc and i've heard that that's actually not the best way to do it there's another program called cc magic that allows you to manage your custom content way differently and it's just a lot better in many ways and i've also heard a lot of people say that it makes your game so much smoother so i want to try it and see if merging it this way makes any difference but the bad thing is I'll have to like delete my entire mods folder and start from scrap or not scrap scratch, but I don't really want to do that. But I also kind of do. We'll see. This video really is so rambly. I'm so sorry. But again, I can't see what you all are seeing right now. I have no idea how these sims turn out. So again, hope they're good. I'm sure they are. My cuties, my babies. I love them. But since I have rambled pretty much this entire time, I will end this voice over here. So thanks so much for watching. So yeah, make sure to leave me a comment down below, like the video and subscribe. And I will see you all in the very next video. So bye everyone. Oh wait, actually the CC list should be linked down below. Okay, there we go. All right, bye. Won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow, yeah. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back? All we have is the moment Just text, I know it's a toss I was now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby give me all So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage Let me know we on the same page Hit me with a text voice note or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it And we could keep the face on slow All we have is the moment Hey